Earlier today, Labor's Bruce Mav was sworn into office as the new Prime Minister of Australia. I, Bruce Mav, do solemnly swear as Prime Minister of Australia. This comes as no shock to the country with the majority of voters backing his bill to remove superheroes from the government's payroll. This all came about after the tragedy that left 15 children dead at the Launceston District School at the hands of Captain True Blue. Rough cell phone footage captured noise? the event as it was taking place. Noise? It's like getting closer. Oh, what? Jesus, what? Whoa, it's Captain True Blue! Dude, 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 dude! It's Captain True Blue! Captain, Captain True Blue! Oh. Oh. These are super able freaks are a danger to this country and must be stopped at all costs. It has now been two years since Bruce Mav enforced the superhero ban. In a quiet suburban street, today we get a glimpse of the lives of those affected by this ban. I can move faster than the human eye can detect. Like, it's so fast that everything just tends to slow down to a complete, almost a complete halt. Uh, it's pretty rad. Check it out. <sighs> Look, this is what I wore uh, when I stopped the ambassador. Uh, they called him the ambassador because he was an idiot. He used to have a sick logo in the middle here. It was like a foot, um, but because of budget cuts, we couldn't make that happen. Hey, um, I suppose you'd like to see it on me. Right here, right now. No? Um, yeah, so my name's Billy Allen. I'm what you call super abled. Uh, I'm known as Australia's fastest man. And otherwise people call me the quickie. Yeah, so uh, this is it. Check it out. Folks. <laughs> it's a little Aggie, need you to emerge. We've got a house meeting in 10 minutes. Lounge room. Today. That'd be nice. So, I just advise that you keep your distance, guys. There's an old wives' tale going around that she. I'm the low deck one. But. Yeah, you sure are. Um, house meeting, 10 minutes, lounge room. Uh, today, if you can, uh, bring the helmet with you if you want. Aggie. Oh boy, Aggie. Uh, met her about a month after the incident. Yeah, I don't know, I've never really seen her use her powers. We don't like to talk about it. Do you know that Harguses are like little potato creatures? That is, unless you can understand the ancient eldritch gobbledygook she speaks in. Everybody thinks that they're not real, but I saw one. Oh. This is a fair house. This soup is actually pretty good. I mean, all company considered. Like, makes it so much easier to pay for things, but... Superhero band is crap. Like, people don't even see us as heroes anymore. I a cat like this once. I should hemorrhoids. Spent all my pocket money on preparation H. Her name was Cravendale. She had thumbs. Can I have my boot back, please? I mean, forget about working ever since Captain True Blue went and killed those kids. Public doesn't trust us. There's no work for supers. I mean, what's even the point? Like, all we've got these days are the measly fortnightly Centrelink payments. I've only really, really met Captain True Blue once before. Well, I didn't really meet him, I just kind of stood behind him in the Hungry Jack's queue. Smell his hair. <sighs> Smells so f good. If you think trying to find your car keys or house keys is difficult, try finding a housemate who can actually turn invisible. Chuck your weirdo! Got a house meeting in! Eight minutes, get your ass out here. And don't be standing in the bathroom again. It's weird. 
<laughs> Jesus. Hey, you didn't tell me you had such lovely ladies on set. I just didn't tell you anything. Just get in the lights. Okay. Make yourself decent. Get in the lights. Oh. Mm, we're gonna get our asses handed to us in court. To say Chuck is a massive pervert is actually a bit of an insult to perverts. Call me. I'm good to go. Single, ready to mingle. You have to control my urges when there's a nudie man running around the house. Because um, my inappropriate thoughts tend to get me in trouble. It's just like in the Bible, when God came down from heaven with a message for Mary, and he'd hold her. Looking at Wally's you. Thanks for coming, Aggie. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Did you touch my baked bean collection? I don't follow. Uh, oh, look who decided to arrive. Thanks for showing up, Viscero. It's only 20 minutes past since I asked. Anyway. All right, so thanks for coming. I know it is a bit short notice. I mean, 10 minutes is a long time, even for you guys, but Somebody hasn't been showing up to their appointments, and I'm not going to point any fingers here. Instead, I'll point a pen. Chuck, uh, five months. That's unacceptable. We're living in the same house. I mean, you're a great guy when you're not harassing our crew and appearing naked, invisible. What are you doing, man? I wanted a hot dog sideways. That's... that's good, I guess. I just want to say it's it's real good that you guys think, think that I'm great. Thanks, guys. Chuck, this really isn't a meeting about how great you are. Point is, you've missed your appointments for the last five months. And now, guess what? You cut off from Centrelink. So we'd like to formally invite you to no longer the house. Mm-hmm. Wait, no. Chuck, we need your money. We've got to survive together. Bills. Bills need to be paid. Well, listen here. No. This is what I think. What? Superheroes don't go to job opportunities. They're superheroes. We should be out there saving lives. Right? You're a tiny willy. <laughs> Speak English for fuck's sake, Aggie. No one can understand you. <laughs> Sorry, but you really do. Oh, hello. <laughs> Ah, oh, great house meeting. Yeah, Mike.